Hello, hello, hello. It's Mr. Dorn. I'm getting ready, <clears throat> getting ready to read the book Blue Tick Pig by Jesse Stewart. I'll read this in several installments. You see, sometimes you, there's no chapters, but there'll, there'll be little marks there on the page, good stopping points. So I'll, if it's a short section like this, I might read a couple stopping points in one in one go, but probably about five to ten minutes at a time. Okay. Let me start with the introduction. Kentucky author Jesse Stewart died 35 years ago, but he still lives in the hearts and minds of millions of readers. His writing career began in the 1930s and still continued into the 1970s. All right to the end, Stewart promised, and give the best I've got to give. In the 1930s and 40s, Stewart achieved national recognition for uh, his poetry, short stories, novels, and autobiographical uh, accounts of his life. By the 1950s, his books, written primarily for adults, began to decline in sales, so Stewart turned to other forms of writing, including junior fiction. Between 1953 and 1971, he published eight illustrated junior books that were oriented towards character education, and they remain popular today. Uh, you may have read The Beatness Boy, that's one of them, A Penny's Worth of Character. That will be another. It's character, character education it's helping you to become a better person, more or less. All right, back to this. The book that you hold in your hands has an interesting history. In February 1937, Stewart published a short story, The Blue Tick Pig, in Esquire magazine. It was later included in his short story collections, A Jesse Stewart Harvest, Men of the Mountains, and Save Every Lamb. In March 1977, Stewart attempted to rewrite the story as a junior book. <clears throat> he mailed a 125-page manuscript, Blue Tick, to Eleanor Nichols, the editor of junior books from McGraw-Hill Publishing Company. The manuscript was much too long for a junior book, and it remained in the Jesse Stewart Foundation's collection of unpublished Stewart manuscripts for more than three decades. Recently, I carefully revised and edited this manuscript for publication as the ninth book in Stewart's junior book series. I hope students, teachers, and parents will love this special pig as much as I do, and I hope Blue Tick inspires happy adventures for the children who read this book. From Kathy Roberts. Prospect, Tennessee, written in January 2019. All right, so this book was based on a story published in Esquire magazine in February 1937. It's now February 2022. So this was first published 85 years ago, a much more condensed, shorter version of it. 85 years ago. So, so the events in the story aren't something we're likely to see when we go out our front door. Okay, this is from a point, in, a point in time, a period of life before we were born, before our parents were born, before our grandparents were born. Well, not my grandparents, but before your grandparents were born. So it's, it's not... It's up to you to determine whether the story stands the test of time. It was popular when it was written. People have loved it for years. But does it still hold up for kids of today? The assignment you have from Mrs. Spencer is to read this book and figure out, would a third grader today enjoy the story? Does it still hold true? Does it still have the same, um, the same messages? Does it still have elements that people can identify with 85 years later? Maybe. There's some stories that do. Some stories will last forever. And then some stories just don't hold up with the changing times. I've never read this book before, so we're kind of going to read it together um, for the first time. And it's not my opinion that counts on this. It's your opinion, because you're the one who has the, the assignment to um, do the, the, the book report. Again, you're not 
retelling the entire book, you're saying, I think uh, that a third grader or a 10 year old, or you know, I guess it's like fifth grade, or, you know, uh, I think a, a younger child today would really enjoy this book because blah, 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 blah. Or I don't think kids today would, would understand this part of the story. They might like this, but this part I think they just wouldn't enjoy. So, I mean, it's up to you which opinion to take. But you have to take an opinion and you have to let Mrs. Spencer know which one you feel. All right. I'm going to go ahead and post this introduction. The next video, we're going to jump right in with section one. All right. See ya.